Puerta, the Spanish word for door. Let's see what's inside. Oh. Hmm. And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Paraguay. Right now, I just got to see something really cool. These goats were just born about an hour ago, and they're so cute and so small, and well, if you can't tell, we're in the middle of absolutely nowhere on a farm. There are some people that are milking cows up there. There are these little goats that were just born like an hour ago, and then, uh, well, there's me, who just woke up about 10 minutes ago. So, let's go on our adventure today. Let's go see some animals. So much better than a zoo. No. <laughs> no. She just likes to show off. <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> So one of the coolest things that I get to do is see how the different cultures come together. And that's not only milking a cow and seeing a new goat being born, but also because I'm a teacher, I think it's really cool to visit the schools. So right now we have two volunteers that are here and teaching English in the local school. And I get to come here and do a little bit of that, but mostly I get to show it and talk with the kids, take pictures and make a video out of it. So it's so cool because there are maybe 12 kids here learning English, learning all the other courses as well. But learning English, well, these guys are here. They've been here for a little while now. And uh, their school is so cool. It's so small. It's like a one-room school. They have a little soccer field here. And, um, well, you can hear the roosters. You know, it's school time. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's how you know. The roosters are calling. So you never know with me if it's breakfast, if it's lunch, or if it's dinner because I always have a little bit of coffee. Yeah. Got some coffee here, but I also have some food that I'm pretty excited about because I always like, hold on. Yeah man, that's the good stuff. I always like trying new food in different places and uh, especially when it's in empanada. It's not uh, empanada from Chile, it's not as big and well, I don't know. It looks a little bit different. but. I am excited to eat it. Mmm. It's filled with some meat, something green. Not all about that, but it's very tasty. Good taste. I don't know what's in it, but it tastes delicious. A little empanada. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Good. Hola, this is. So I've had a whole lot of coffee. I'm a little bit jittery right now, but I'm feeling really good. I mean, really good. Right now we're stopped by somebody's house. Actually, it's their company that they own. And this guy basically repairs cell phones. And he found this site, Academia Cristo. And Academia Cristo basically is this network of people and classes and different courses that you can take to learn more about Jesus. This guy, in almost the middle of nowhere, a couple of motorcycles, he found this site and is learning more about God's Word through, well, Academia Cristo. 
And basically what we're doing is finding these stories here of people, well, they can be in a city, but the people that we've found are kind of in the middle of nowhere looking for something. They don't have a way of learning more about God's Word, so they found this site and uh, they're learning. And it's pretty amazing. We've stopped at tons of houses and learned so much about different people living here, and they want to know more about God's Word. So they connect through this site, and then we go and visit them and tell them more about God's Word. Los gringos están comprando todas las cervezas en grandes cantidades. So I don't even know how to describe my day to you today. It was just crazy with milking cows. I feels like that was three days ago because we did so much today. And then I met so many people and got to tell them about Jesus, which that's the reason I came to Chile in the first place was to work with our church and well, I get to do that, but you guys don't necessarily get to see that. And it's something that I get to do here and really focus on, which it's so cool to me because I get to mix making videos with, well, talking about Jesus and the grace that we have because of Jesus's death and resurrection. And uh, I just feel so blessed to be a part of it and to come here in the middle of nowhere in a place that is really special to me, but to them, it's just a normal day of milking cows and seeing a goat being born. So cool to me, and I feel, well, feel good to have a beer. After a long day of, you know, going and milking cows and talking to a ton of people. But I hope that you enjoyed the video for today. Thank you guys for coming along for the adventure and checking out what I do. And, well, it's just amazing to see what videos can do and what a little bit of editing and learning like I did a year and a half ago can do and where it can bring me. So I'm really thankful for you guys. I'm really thankful for this opportunity and hope that you enjoyed the video. Give it a big old thumbs up if you did. And uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I'll be back in Chile soon and I'm just making a couple of videos here for the weekend, but I'll be back and I can't wait to get back to Chile. We have some trips planned and I'm super pumped to go on them, but for now, I'm enjoying life and uh, I'm in the middle of nowhere, which I think is pretty cool. But we'll see you guys next time, and for now, ciao, Pascal. Ah, Ali, Ali. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs>